Hi, what's going on everyone? I believe I've arrived at an answer to a question I've had for a while. Maybe you've had the same thought in your brain, but the question is, could you put a wired e-bikes motor, the rear motor, the 60 volt, 1500 watt rear motor, could you put that onto a non-wired e-bike? If you had whatever brand, Hemiway or Magic Cycle or Snap Cycle or whatever it is, could you, if you had an extra one of those wheels, could you put it on another bike? I've also had people ask me in, in the past if I would create a rear motor kit that they could upgrade their bike. And that was kind of the thought in the back of my brain, oh, maybe I'd use that 1500 watt hang tech motor. That'd be a great upgrade. Well, I have an extra wired motor, so I thought today I'd try it. I'm looking to upgrade the Citizen bike. Let me spin around. The Citizen 4.0 bike, it's due for an upgrade. So I thought, okay, well, let's try to sneak a wired motor onto the back of this. Let's get that big 1500 watt, 60 volt motor. Let's try to get it on. This used to be a Rad Rover back when I first bought it in 2018. So this is a Rad Rover frame. And I've removed the, the wheel here. So it had a Bafang 750 watt rear motor on it. And I have my extra 1500 watt Hangtech motor here. It's in a 24 inch wheel. I had this special made by my manufacturer. It's basically the, you know, the wired motor, but in a 24 inch wheel instead of 26. And I'd, uh, I had this laying around, not using it. So I, want, I was like, okay, maybe I'll switch the wheel and tire package here down to 24 by four. That'll be another weight saving thing on this bike. So I wanna know, does this motor fit? Can I, can I sneak this motor into the dropouts of this old Rad Rover bike? And I'm running into some problems. I wanna show you what happens when you try to do this, because spoiler alert, it's not really gonna work. The first thing I needed to check was, is the dropout the same width, you know, from right here to, to right here, this width in between here, basically the width of the rear swing arm is, what's that width there? Is it the same for both the motors? It's a, I took a measurement, it's 170 millimeters. And that's the same, this Bafang 750 and this wired 1500 watt motor, they're both 170 mil. It fits in there, I can slide it in there. So that was problem number one, which it seemed to work. The next thing you need to know is will the axle slide down into the dropouts? You know, this axle is flat on two sides. You know, will it fit into this notch right here? So let me test fit this wheel because I want to show you what happens. All right, we got that 1500 watt Hangtech motor drop down in there. We're doing good, right? It's going to fit, right? I mean, the width was the same. It's 170 millimeter on the dropout spacing. And the axle, you know, kind of kind of slid down in the dropouts there, but this is where you really start running into issues. And I don't know if you can see here, I'll do my best, may have to take a picture, but the axle won't fully go down into the dropouts. So where this becomes a problem is, it's basically sticking out too much right there. And I went to go put on the um, tabbed washer this little torque washer, which keeps the axle from spinning in the dropout. So I go to put this on and it doesn't want to go on. It's too small, too small. So I have to go get a bigger torque washer. Here's the size I'm going to need. Got to get this big one for it to fit on there. This one will slide on to the axle like that. If you can see, it's not really going to do anything. It's not going to hold the axle in place in the dropout. That tab, needs to be dropped down into the dropout, it's not able to do that. And that's because the axle's not slid down the whole way into the dropout, it's taller. The axle's taller. It's the same width on the flat sides, you know, that's the same width, but it's taller this way, about a millimeter. <laughs> One millimeter, it's taller. But that's all it takes in this, with these small clearances here. That's all it takes. That one millimeter is keeping this from sliding all the way down in, allowing me to utilize this torque washer on there. It's just, it's not gonna fit. I mean, if I take my little digital caliper here, this width is the same, the flat spot to flat spot, you know, that's showing me like about 10.2 millimeters. But this distance on the thread part of it is different. This one's about 13.7 on the millimeters there. What's this over here? This is the smaller axle that's 11.6. So it's, yeah, 
it's not gonna work. It doesn't work. You can't do this. Ah. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be the solution to give me some big power on the rear wheel of this Frankenstein bike that I pieced together. That's what I use this bike for. This is my Frankenstein that I just try different things. This isn't gonna work. So how could I fix this? I mean, really, this axle, is, it has to be larger to accommodate the wires. You know, you're going from, the, the stock one I had on here was a 48 volt 750. Now you've got 60 volt 1500. With bigger wiring like this to carry that extra current, you have to put a bigger axle on. And it's just not gonna work in this bike frame. And I think it's probably safe to extrapolate that out and say that this motor is not gonna work on, you know, an Aventin or a Hemiway or a Snap Cycle or a Rad or pretty much any like 750 watt fat tire bike you bought, you're not gonna be able to sneak this motor in there. So if you ever thought about that, like I have, there's your answer. No, you can't really do that. The, the frame dropouts are designed to handle a specific axle dimension. And being this is a bigger motor with bigger wiring, that axle has a bigger dimension and it's just not gonna fit. All right, now I know some of you are probably like, well, of course it didn't work, you dummy. Why would you think that was gonna work? Hey man, I mean, not everyone knows all this stuff, right? And I honestly wasn't sure if it was gonna work or not. I was hopeful. It's like, this will be a really easy way to get some power on the back of this bike if it works. Let's give it a try. It doesn't work. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna have to find another way to get some power on the back of this. Maybe if I special ordered a 52 volt, 1500 watt motor, maybe that would have the right size wiring and axle. I, I'm not sure. I gotta ask the manufacturer on that and see. I guess what voltage they start increasing that axle size. I don't know, maybe, maybe I could have them make a 52 volt version of this motor and it would work. I don't know, I'm not sure on that, but this doesn't work. So <laughs> we're, I'm coming up with a plan. I think I got my battery situation figured out on the Citizen bike. Wheel and tire, I think I'm gonna go 24 by four. I think, I like the fat look on this bike, so I, but I do wanna shrink it down. So smaller wheels and tires and smaller battery is gonna cut the weight a little bit on it. And I think there's some other things to trim the weight on it. I gotta get a balancer figured out, but we're gonna make this thing kinda cool. And I got another special thing I might do to it, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna spoil that. But a wired motor doesn't fit on this and a wired motor is probably not gonna fit on your bike either. So if you were curious, if you're curious, there you go. Hope you uh, enjoyed watching me fumble around with this today. <laughs> That's all I got. See you in the next one.